Hey guys, so I thought I would show you some books that I got recently, and there's not a lot, but they're ones that I've wanted to get for a while, and I finally got them. So the first one is The Princess and the Hound. It's by Mehdi Ivy Harrison. It's the first book in her Princess Retelling series, and there's four books in the series currently. I'm not too sure if the books are connected or if they're just kind of standalone titles, but this is the first one. It sounds really interesting. It's about a princess who, when she was born, her father, the king, did not want her and kind of, in a way, left her alone. And there's a hound that is very faithful to her. He stays by her side and everything. And I think the hound plays a key part in the story. And the princess's father has made a kind of political engagement between her and another kingdom's prince and they're due to be married and in this prince's kingdom there are people who have a connection to animals now when somebody in the kingdom it's found out that they have a connection i'm not too sure what the connection is but they've got the connection to the animals um they are put to death and what ends up taking place is this prince is having to hide the fact that he has this connection so it sounds really good. I cannot wait to get to that one. The next one, it's an Agatha Christie novel. I thought it was about time I picked up an Agatha Christie novel. And I thought, what better place to start than her first novel, which is The Mysterious Affair at Styles. And I found this gorgeous edition. I couldn't really decide what one I wanted. And then I saw this really nice leather-bound edition. And I'm like, okay, I, I want this one. And this one is actually the first book that Poirot, I think that's how you pronounce his last name, Hercules Poirot, I believe is his name. This is the first book that he appears in. And this one seems really cool. It's got like little torn up notes where you can like place them together. There's even a little um, floor plan for a house. What's really cool is retro wallpaper, in a way. I think that's really nice. I think it goes very well with the book. The next one is actually one that I read when I was younger. It's currently out of print now, so it's really hard to find the books. It is The Rising Force. It is the first book in the Jedi Apprentice series, and it follows Obi-Wan Kenobi when he's 12 years old, and he is trying to become Qui-Gon Jinn's Padawan Apprentice. So I only got up to book 8 or 9 because I was borrowing them from the library. And when I went to go and get book 8 or 9, whichever one it was, uh, somebody had stolen it from the library. Who does that? Who steals a book from the library? Like, go out and buy it. <laughs> Seriously, there's other people who want to read it. But yeah... Um, it was actually really good from what I can remember from what I've read, but uh, I think it will be cool to go back and read it now that I'm older. This is more of a middle grade um, series, but it was really well done. I preferred it actually to the Anakin Skywalker stories. The next one as well is another middle grade, but it's actually on the top 100 YA reads. So I found that very interesting. It is the complete Shadow Children box set by Margaret Peterson Haddix. I'm really excited about this one. I'm not too sure how I feel about having the box and two of the books come damaged, especially when I bought it brand new. That kind of ticks me off a little bit. But I'm really excited about this series. It follows, um, it's basically set in a world where families are only allowed to have two children. If they have a third, then they have to shadow the child so that nobody knows that they, he or she exists. Because if the government finds out that they have a third child, the government comes, takes the child, and they kill it. It, in a way, kind of reminds me a bit of The Hunger Games. Not fully, but the whole thing with, like, yeah, well, kids. That's, that's the whole thing. Kids and death. But, yeah, that's, yeah, okay. I'm just going to continue. I really enjoy the fact that the artwork on all 
seven of the covers kind of has a nice continuing quality that they all kind of have the same covers in a way and I love the parallelism with the titles. So the first one is Among the Hidden. The second is Among the Imposters. The third is Among the Betrayed. The fourth is Among the Barons. The fifth is Among the Brave. And this one's actually the thickest of all of them. The sixth is Among the Enemy. And the last one, the seventh, is Among the Free. So yes, that looks really good. And I can't wait to do that. I'm probably going to have like a month where I read all seven. Should you read them all back to back? I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Um, and the last one, I'm so excited about this, Grimm's Complete Fairy Tales. This is the Barnes & Noble Leather Bound Edition of it. It's absolutely gorgeous. The um, forest green with the gold lettering, uh, well not gold lettering, it's more of like silver lettering, but like the gold, is it called foliage? And then on the side, the gold. Um, it just makes me think ideal fairy tale book. Um, I've never actually read a traditional Grimm's fairy tale. I've read retellings of fairy tales, and I've also read uh, the Disneyfied versions of fairy tales. But I actually have not ever picked. I have never picked up. There we go. That sounds better. I've never picked up a actual Grimm's fairy tale, so I'm quite excited about this. So, I have a couple questions for you guys. First off, uh, did you guys get any books currently? If so, let me know down below. Uh, have you guys read any of these books that I've shown you? If so, comment down below uh, what you thought of them. Also, if you have read the Shadow Children series, if you have, should I read them back to back? Because... There are some books where you shouldn't, because I found that out. Uh, and then there's others where it's fine to read them back to back. Uh, and the last one is, what are you guys currently reading? I would love to hear what you guys are currently reading. So comment down below if you want to, and I'll see you on my next video. Go pick up a random book and read. Bye, guys.